What's up, y'all? This is Kwame, a.k.a. The Rooster, a.k.a. Kwame, a.k.a. You can call me on my cell phone. <laughs> oh, what's up, man? What's up, man? This is Bookish, y'all. The series premiere, not the season premiere. Series. The series premiere. It's a new show. What do you think of the title? I love it. It has so many meanings. But what, what do you think should apply for this? Bookish is about spreading the love of books. It's about right. making books cool. It's about mm. traveling the world which me and Randy are doing, making kids feel like they can change the world one word at a time. See what I did there? I, I love it. Yeah. The word, yeah. So we're on tour. We're in Charleston, South Carolina, AKA Chucktown, AKA the Low Country, AKA the home of shrimp and grits and the land of Robert Smalls. Stop. Do you know who Robert Smalls is? Robert Smalls? Message. Stole the Confederate shit. Right? Yeah, Robert Swans. Learn your history, people. We are about to get this party started with a bang. So we're in Charleston, y'all. We're excited to be here promoting Solo, the latest novel written by yours truly and Mary Rand Hess. Mary. I got an idea. How about we kick it off with a poem from the book? I think it's a great idea. And then you sing a song inspired by the poem. I love that idea. You think idea. you can do it? I think I can do it. Here we go. Here we go. Chapel is the great song in my life, the sweet arpeggio in my solo. Her lines bring color and verve to my otherwise crazy life. Without her, I'd be a one-man band with a played-out sound and no audience. The magic we compose is endless, endless, mm. immortal. We could play together for centuries if I'm lucky, and I love the music our bodies make when we're dancing. Kick it. Excuse me. I mean, what did you say? That's Randy Preston, y'all. I'm sorry. It's a little blown away. Why are you blown away? Mm, tell me. Cause your eyes, they mesmerize me Your eyes, they hypnotize me The eyes are deeper blue than the deepest part of the deep Deep blue sea I know y'all wondering how I know the words Cause I helped write the song That's right And all the songs, all four of them Original songs are on the audio book for Solo We've been getting a lot of love from students and librarians and teachers all around the country. In fact, I got some fan mail I want to read y'all. So this is from Angie Oberg. What's up, Angie? From Minden High School. Hey. Zip code 68959. You know where that is? Yeah, Norman, Nebraska. <laughs> How do you know that? I don't know. That's just random. Norman. Anyway, Angie says, good afternoon. <laughs> no, it's like five exclamation points. Oh, yeah. She's, good afternoon back. Thank you Hello. so much for writing Booked. For the past several years, I have spent the little extra English budget money going on Amazon and selecting new YA novels to have in my classroom. Nice. One of the books I selected this year was Booked. B-O-O-K-E-D. B-O-O-K-E-D. K-E-D. When I selected it, I honestly knew nothing about it. After receiving it and reading it, I could not wait for school to start because I knew one of my juniors from last year would love it. Oh, On the first day of school, I saw Miguel in the hall and told him I had a book I thought he would like. He came in after school and picked it up. The next day, he came in and told me how much he liked it and how mad he was that it was over. Oh, that's awesome. The next day? The next day. Oh, he read it all, man. That's how my books roll, yo. I'm serious. Miguel just returned the book to me today, a month later. He said that he's read it over and over again. I asked him if he would like me to order the books you've written. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. So I am going to order them today. Thank you for writing a book in poetry that speaks to students. May you always continue to share the authentic truth through your words. I am grateful for authors who helped make that happen. Wow. I'll tell you what, Angie, here's what we're going to do. We're going to ship you a classroom set of Kwame Alexander books. Yeah, and since you're at a high school, we're sending you solo. All right. That's that was good. a great little thing Thank there. Thank you. Just 
brought it out. Right? I really appreciate all the fan mail. I keep it. I respond when I can, so keep it coming. On Facebook, you can email me. You can holler at me on the snail mail. Send it to my publishers. I will get it, and I'll try to get back to you. Nice. I got an idea. Okay. You know how I love getting questions and answering questions? Right. Let's do a segment called Questions That Need Answers. What is it like traveling on tour with me? Um, I get to see a lot of the country that I've never seen before. I get to hang out with my best friends. Every day, we get to uh, play music with people. It's awesome! You're killing me! <laughs> all right. Ask me a question now. Okay. Your turn. Oh, questions, questions need answers. The, quiz, the, the kids ask this all the time when we go. How many books do you have to sell to make a lot of money or to be on the bestseller list? <laughs> yeah, we do get asked that a lot. Yeah, all Are the time. you rich? <laughs> You know, I know who could answer that question. Okay, who could answer the question? I know who's sold a gang of books. What? A ton of books. What's like more than like a gang or a ton? Like, how do you... A plethora? A plethora of books. <laughs> Let's call him up and ask him about it. Who are you going to call, dude? Hello? Hello, may I speak to Jeff Kinney? This is Jeff Kinney. Is this Kwame? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> it's a 703 area code. Oh, ah. you don't have a whole lot of friends in 703? <laughs> <laughs> my parents live there, but they moved up to Massachusetts with me. So wow. you're my only friend now there. So cool. You know, Jeff, you did go to school like in Fort Washington or something? Yes, I grew up in Fort Washington, Maryland, uh, right across the river from Alexandria and all that. So, yeah, I'm very familiar. You know, so cool. Randy, cool. ladies and gentlemen, we have on the line with us the author of the wildly successful, the hugely selling, the, the, the plethora of books, as Randy said, the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, Mr. Jeff Kinney. Wow. Yes. I don't hear any audience applause. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Randy, yeah, yeah. I feel like... Oh, I feel like Jeff should have a theme song. Can you give him? Let's try it again. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff Kinney. That's nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. Isn't it? That's pretty good, yeah. All right, Jeff, I'm not going to keep you. I really appreciate you taking my call, but I kind of want to know, like, I got a couple questions, and the, and the biggest one is, how does it feel to have sold, like, 200 million books? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, really can I ask cool. that question? <laughs> yeah, good question. <laughs> it's really cool. You know what? It's, it, what's really cool is that it, it enabled me to build a bookstore. And so that, that, that to me is the best. I, I grew up in the, uh, Maryland, and uh, as you know, and we had Crown Books. So we had a Crown mm, Bookstore. I remember yeah, that. Crown Books. You remember it. Yeah. I remember and Crown. Then took, and then they took it away. And I've always felt mad about that so i so i i got my revenge by creating a bookstore of my own bookstores should be we should be building bookstores not not closing them down awesome. wow and so the awesome. name of your store is called an unlikely story that's it yeah oh. and so that's really interesting jeff because if i recall like you worked on wimpy kid for eight years that's right before yeah, you got it published years. Yeah, eight years uh, I worked on it. I wanted to be a newspaper cartoonist, and I didn't really have the talent to, I didn't have the artistic talent to break in, so I, I thought, you know what, maybe if I if I start drawing like a kid, nobody will know that I'm kind of a crummy cartoonist, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I worked on it for eight years and, and finally got it published, and now I've been published for 10 years. Wow, wow. man, that's great. That's awesome. Randy and Randy and I are going to be on tour for the new uh, for the new prequel to the crossover in April. And as far as I know, we're going to be on a bus tour. We're going to have a wrapped nice. bus. Now, I know you're nice. like the king of buses. Yeah. I know everything about Give us buses, some advice, yeah. like top three things we need to know about the bus situation. All right. The, well, the <laughs> there's some gross things that I'll, I'll tell you about. Like offline about right. use of the bathroom, but we'll talk about that later. Um, but wa 
watch watch out for hop-ons you know the best thing is when you have the bus to yourself but what's going to happen is all your friends and family and they're going to want to get on and all of a sudden there's going to be 35 people on the bus you're going to be like now you're in a crowded apartment you know so <laughs> wow be, be exclusive about who you invite onto the bus before i let you go i, I got a, a couple like uh, surefire um okay. questions i need to ask you one is what's your favorite word I'm going to say frisbee, even though it's sort of a trademark word. It's just a happy word. Cool. Mm. What makes you smile? What makes me smile is uh, seeing my kids succeed. Mm. What makes you sad? Uh, seeing my older son grow taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> One author you could have dinner with, who would it be? It would be you, and I'm not lying, and you know that. So I'm excited about that possibility. Dude, that makes me feel really cool. And and I'm so grateful for your friendship and and your camaraderie. And I'm sorry that I was uh, on a cruise when you were in the area. Otherwise, I would have had you at the house for some shrimp and grits. That's awesome. I love it. I, I like Lido's down there. So anytime you want to have Lido's, I'm down for that. All right. Tell us what we can expect next from Jeff Kenny. What's coming out? Very cool. Fun. Well, may you sell another 200 million books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Congratulations on your show. It's very cool. Appreciate it, man. Take care. Take care. Because that's how we roll. We get on the phone and we call our peoples, y'all. The and people. we make it happen. Captain. Right on. So look, y'all, this is the first episode of Bookish. We are finding our way. We are enjoying ourselves. We are heading to New York. We are heading to L.A. We are heading to Milan and Paris. We're going to be all over the place. Tell me what you're reading or tell me what you wish you were reading. I wish I was reading Olivia's new book. I want to read Olivia. Olivia Cole's new book. Olivia Cole's new book. I am reading uh, The Cuban Affair by Nelson DeMille. Oh, nice book. I love that book. I love Nelson DeMille. He's an adventurer. Great writer, man. What I wish I was reading Uh was Queen Sugar. Because the TV show is off the chain. Oh, my goodness. But it's based on a novel. So I got to read that. All right, y'all. We are about to be out of here. We want you to always remember every day of your life how important it is for you and your students and your family to always, one, two, three. Be a star. Be a star. In your mind. In your mind. Day and night. Day and night. Let it shine. Let it shine. Be a star. Be a star. In your mind. In your mind. Day and night. Day and night. Let it shine. I can never sing that part. Yeah. Dribble, fake, shoot, miss. Dribble, fake, shoot, miss. Dribble, fake, shoot, miss. Dribble, fake, shoot, swish. <laughs>